What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check updates, daily news, what's going on with the next stimulus package, the $3.5 trillion package, what's going on in the United States, and what is going on in Washington, D.C. Remember, new videos come out on our channel here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date with everything going on with the next stimulus package, with unemployment updates, with the, which the president has now said they will not extend the unemployment bonus money anymore past the September 6th. Um, deadline, which the $300 per week unemployment bonus will stop. However, this is really kind of irrelevant with the uh, extra other stimulus updates or other stimulus programs because we really have the next stimulus package, the $3.5 trillion stimulus program, um, is the largest stimulus package ever because a lot of people see that unemployment bonus money um, and again, I'm not saying this is my opinion because I have mixed feelings about it because I could really argue either point. I could say, well, well, here's the two kind of different opinions. I could say some people say that unemployment bonus money, remember this is bonus money on top of the regular state unemployment money. Some people say, well, this prevents people from going back to work because some people say in a lot of circumstances, you might get $300 per week and then you get money from your state, which could be. $300 per week as well, two, three, four hundred dollars per week, and you're getting six hundred dollars per week, and that that could be an incentive to not really go back to work and not be in a rush to find work. On the other hand, we've seen some studies that say, well, that's not really the case. And even as um, 25 Republican governor states have ended the unemployment boost, they have not really seen a large uptick in um, jobs being replaced. They have not seen a huge drove of people go back to work in these Republican states that have ended unemployment. Of course, we have some lawsuits going on in those states. Some um, people have sued the state and have actually won and have had the unemployment benefits reinstated. Some people have lost the lawsuits. By people, I mean the basically lawsuits on behalf of all the people in the state. Um, some states have won. Some states have lost. Uh, quick update of those states I have is that Maryland has won their lawsuits. Indiana has won. Texas is still uh, no decision yet. Ohio has lost. Oklahoma has won, but is possibly being re-challenged. Florida, no decision. Arkansas has won. Tennessee, no decision. South Carolina, the lawsuit has been dismissed. Louisiana has lost. Alabama and Missouri, no decision yet. Those are actually new lawsuits in the works that have just been announced recently. Now, even though these are new lawsuits and the unemployment is going to end here just in about two weeks on September 6th, um, they can be retroactive. So whenever they ended the unemployment, if they win the lawsuit, the judge, which is the judge from their own state, can actually, because it's, it's a judge from their own state is kind of in the middle because they would be ruling against their own state governor, but they're also ruling for their own people. So it's kind of a you know, a sticky situation for the judge, which is kind of the fairest case in the matter. But we've kind of seen a lot of judges where they express their own political opinion, kind of sometimes leaning one way or sometimes leaning the other way. Uh, and we've actually seen some judges' opinion where they say that they're expressing their opinion, which is kind of strange where they should be more, more going towards the letter of the law but it's kind of weird because this is a case, this is kind of a case where the law is not really, we don't, we're not, we don't really know the law. And it's more of an opinion case, kind of. You know, it's like, what is really the law in this case? The law says that the third stimulus check package passed into law $300 bonus per week, $300 unemployment bonus. And then where we kind of get into the sticky situation is, well, the governors of the states have opted out of the unemployment bonus. So the question is, are these Republican governors breaking the law? Because the law 
was when the third stimulus check passed, they passed that into law. They write that bill into law. It was passed by the House, passed by the Senate, signed by the president, and passed into law. So it's official law in the United States. It's passed into law. And the Republican governors, and I'm not choosing sides here. I'm just explaining to you guys what's going on here. Did they break the law by basically withholding this money from their citizens of their states? You guys can let me know your thoughts on this. Some people say, yeah, they're breaking the law by not giving their citizens of their states this money. And that's why they're suing their own governor. And in some states, several different states, their own judges have actually ruled against their own governor saying, yes, they did break the law. But in some states, their own judges say, no, they didn't break the law. They did what they were supposed to. And we almost kind of have a 50-50. We have several states. We have like four states that have won. And we have like, let me see here, about two or three states that have lost or been discharged. So, yeah, it's a very, very sticky situation. And we have several states that are still waiting on decisions. Even if the decision happens after September 6th, which is in two weeks, they can be forced to pay retroactive unemployment for all the weeks that were missed. So it's still very, very important to unemployment cases. Now, there are several states that are sending out their own stimulus check or stimulus type checks from their own portion of their federal stimulus money from the third stimulus check package. Remember, states, cities, and counties got $350 billion sent out between states, cities, and counties, and they're all deciding how to send out this money or how to spend this money. So far, eight different states, according to Newsweek.com, are sending their own stimulus checks as a federal uh, legislation stalls, the third stimulus check package, which the House will be working on this week. I'll get to that here in a moment, what they're going to be working on what is going to be happening here with that in uh, just a moment here. But eight different states are sending out their own uh, stimulus checks or stimulus um, type checks here, as we'll go through this here in a moment. Um, we're going to be seeing more of this hopefully here in the future. I'll, as you guys know, sometimes the government, in this case state governments, just take a long, long time. A lot of state governments are just deciding how to spend their portion of the state stimulus money from the third stimulus check package. So hopefully we will see more state stimulus money being sent out in to the people like these states did. Number one, Governor Gavin Newsom signed his $100 billion California comeback plan that includes $8 billion for stimulus payments. Under the state's recently approved economic recovery budget package, Taxpayers earning between thirty and seventy-five thousand dollars will receive a six hundred dollars stimulus check. Uh, now, note that this is round two because round one sent out stimulus checks to people making under thirty thousand dollars, and I'm not sure if those ones are still going out. But um, round one was for people making under thirty thousand dollars. Round two is for people making between thirty and seventy thousand dollars, and I believe those are going to start going out in September. So. That's in about a week. Parents and guardians will receive $500 additionally for each dependent child, and undocumented migrant families will also receive $500. So if you have children, you actually can get $600 and $500 for a total of $1,100. Oh, here it is right here. Officials say the payments will be sent out in September and about 26 million of the state's 39.5 million residents or two thirds of the population can expect to receive a payment. Yeah, so 26 million people. I mean, that's more than some entire state's population. So uh, it's a really big program. It's a lot of people, 26 million people. Uh, that's almost 10% of the entire population of the United States. So it's a really, really big po program. And we hope that more states will do this. In the past, several states have also done state stimulus checks. Colorado Governor 
Jared Polis issued an executive order last year that included $375 stimulus checks for residents who received at least one weekly unemployment benefits uh, last year. More than $163 million was allocated from the state's general fund to pay for roughly 435,000 residents for this $375 stimulus check. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan signed the state's bipartisan $1 billion relief act in February, and it provided a $500 check for families and $300 to individuals who filed for the earned income tax credits uh, for the state of Maryland, which goes out to low income individuals who filed a tax return for the state of Maryland. The payments have been estimated to provide about $178 million to 400,000 residents for the state of Maryland, according to the, I think that's a news station, WUSA9. A majority of the checks were reportedly processed in February and March. New Mexico, the New Mexico Human Services Department announced in June a new round of stimulus checks for residents who were ineligible for $1,400 direct payments, including undocumented migrants. Under the $5 million state program, more than 4,000 low-income individuals will receive a check of up to $750, according to HSD. Florida, as a thank you for working through the pandemic, Florida's lawmakers allocated $208 million from President Joe Biden's third stimulus check package, the American Rescue Plan, to provide funds for the state's nearly 200,000 first responders and uh, yeah, teachers and educators to deliver $1,000 stimulus checks to teachers and educators. I believe these are still going out right now or actually recently just started going out. Governor Ron DeSantis handed out $1,000 stimulus check to some first responders in ceremonies held across the state this week. Quote, those should be arriving this week and into next week, he said during an event in Escambia County Sheriff's Office in Pensacola on Tuesday. Now, I'm not sure if this accounts for all teachers and educators and first responders across the state. Note that it says 200,000 first responders and teachers and educators. So if you're a teacher, educator, or first responder in Florida, uh, you might want to look into the details of this. Georgia, Michigan, and Tennessee, similar to Florida's program, Georgia, Michigan, and Tennessee have also allocated cash payments to teachers, educators, and school administrators, otherwise known as retention bonuses. The Tennessee legislator passed a bill in June that removed a planned 2% increase in pay for teachers but provided a $1,000 check to full-time and $500 check to part-time educators. The direct payments are expected to be delivered in eligible individuals before the end of 2021. Georgia's Board of Education pre presented a plan in March to use $240 million in relief funds to pay a $1,000 bonus to education employees across the state. Governor Brian Kemp said the initiative is intended to encourage teachers and administrators to stay in their jobs during the pandemic. The Michigan Department of Treasury announced in late January that teachers and education staff in the state who continue to work would receive a bonus of up to $500. There are other ones that this particular article didn't cover, like the North Carolina uh, grant that was for families. You had to have a child. Um, you can see here on this, this particular one closed on July 1st. It was for $335. Uh, yeah, you can see here. Let me zoom in. Who was eligible? North Carolina families with qualifying children who were 16 or younger at the end of 2019, that was just for the tax return, uh, were qualified for a $335 check. Um, again, that was just for your tax return. Um, this was open in for last year and this year. You could get a $335 check from the state of North Carolina. And um, again, that was open until July 1st, 2021. 
So yeah, these are state stimulus checks, and we really hope that more states send these out. As you can see here, there was like 10 different states that have already sent out or in the process of sending out state stimulus checks. So let's hope that we see more of this in the future. I will keep you up to date on this as more come out. Now, here's the interesting thing going forward here is the House of Representatives will be coming back tomorrow to start the voting process on the infrastructure package and the $3.5 trillion package. Nancy Pelosi has said that they will be sticking with the $3.5 trillion price tag. So remember, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, the leader of the Senate, have both been in a kind of um, a boxing match between her moderate Democrats and her progressive Democrats. And same thing with the Senate. Um, it's kind of like being in a room full of 50 people in the Senate or in the House of Representatives. I think there's 218 um, Democrats in the House. There used to be 223, but there's like five people that are no longer there. There's like a few people that died and there was like two people that quit. So I think, yeah, believe it or not, um, I think there's 218 people in the House right now and they can only afford to not have people, three people people vote no on this next stimulus package. So uh, imagine having 218 people in a room and you need basically every single one of them, except for three of them, to vote yes on this next stimulus package. So she has to round them all up and get them all to vote yes on this next stimulus package, which is what they did do with the third stimulus check package, which we actually had an article on the screen like in the last few videos. That third stimulus check package was actually in the top five of the last 30 years of the top five most popular bills that were passed in the last 30 years, the most popular bills in American history of the last 30 years with the people, including executive orders and everything. So it's a very, very, very popular bill with the American people. Um, so, and remember, President Biden's approval rating is in the in the gutter right now. It's in the sewer right now. So um, they really need to pass this next bill and provide a lot of relief, stimulus checks, child tax credit checks, adult tax credit checks. There's going to be free college in there, um, extra benefits for seniors with Medicare, hearing, dental, vision, hearing aid coverage, denture coverage. Nancy Pelosi says they're sticking to their guns and they're going to make this package stay at $3.5 trillion. Now, the problem is, is that there's going to make a few people say, oh, they don't like that. There's a few Democrats in the House and the Senate that want it to be less. There's a lot more people that want it to be more. OK, so, again, she's, you just kind of got to get everybody together. This is what I would do if I was the leader of the House or the leader of the Senate. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. It's just if you had to get 200 people together and say, listen, guys, we all need to vote together here. Um we have to all put our differences aside and get this together. They're going to have to go through some negotiation here. And this is what I would say. I would say, listen, we're going to, just going, to, going to all have to come together and pass this. So let's let's all huddle together. Let's all put it together. Let's, let's not be rude to each other. Let's not be mean to each other here. We're going to all have to work together. We're going to all have to work together. And that's what we're going to see here. They're going to start on the voting process, from what I understand, this week, possibly as early as tomorrow. Yes, possibly as early as tomorrow. Uh, the House is coming back from their recess or from their, some people would call it a vacation. That's really a, a slang, a derogatory slang. Because remember, they just go back to their states to work. So if you're a New York uh, representative, you go back to your state to work because you can't be in Washington, D.C., and never see the people of your state and work in your state. So they're all coming back from their states, just like I would always say, I've always said this, that when they need to come back to vote, they'll come back to vote, and that is exactly what is happening. So uh, they're doing what they're supposed to, thank God. Thank God. They're not just um, talking the talk, they're actually walking the walk for once. So they're coming back when they're supposed to, and they could start the voting process as early as tomorrow which is really, really good because we need to get this ball. We need to get this ball on the road. We need, to get, we need to get this show on the road and start this process because people need relief. We need to get all these things done. And as I said, I feel like there's a lot of very, very um, game-changing items in here, like free college, 
Um, Medicare 2.0, which are going to provide about 75% of seniors do not have hearing coverage, do not have dental coverage, denture coverage, hearing aid coverage. They may or may not lower the Medicare eligibility age. Apparently, um, that has been a, um, a big budget problem there, and they've been arguing back and forth, and that may or may not be something that makes it into this final battle. So apparently that's something that is being battled on right now. So they want to lower the Medicare eligibility age from age 65 to age 60. So that is something that they are fighting on right now. Remember, doing that will cost billions and billions of dollars. And remember, again, I don't make these bills, so don't be mad at me or anything like that if you're in that group you know, where that would make you qualify or not. I don't, I'm just the messenger here. Don't shoot the messenger. Um, and again, this is not final or anything like that. Nothing is final until it's put into a bill and voted by the House, voted by the Senate, and signed by the President, okay? Remember that even with the third stimulus check package, even after the House wrote the bill and passed the bill, the Senate significantly changed it, okay? Even after the bill was written, and the House passed it, the Senate significantly changed it from the third stimulus check package. They had to take out the $15 an hour minimum wage. There was just not enough votes to pass it. Even after the Senate parliamentarian said it couldn't be in there, they were going to pass it anyways. Because again, her, her is, what she does is actually kind of a recommendation. It's the easiest way to say it. She actually could come into play with any of the ideas that they put into this next package. when it gets to the Senate part. It's going to be passed in the House here first now. It's kind of gone from the Senate back to the House. And then when it comes back to the Senate, the parliamentarian could come back into play. But remember, they can actually outvote her. It's just kind of a recommendation. Okay. But from that third stimulus check package, they were going to pass that $15 an hour minimum wage, but there was only 42 senators that voted for it. it just wasn't enough votes. Okay. So they had to take that out even after the House passed it. They added in that $10,200 unemployment tax-free provision that made $10,200 of unemployment income tax-free for last year, for 2020. They could do that again for this year. And I've seen literally thousands of your guys' comments to say, and thank God you did that. Uh, that gave me an extra $1,000 refund check or $2,000 recheck. I've seen probably hundreds of people that said you had over $3,000 of a refund check. For last year, they could actually do that for this year as well, because that was retroactive for 2020. That is not for 2021. They could do that for 2021. That just goes to show you that they can add things in at the very last moment. Remember, the second stimulus check, the second stimulus check even, was added in after they wrote the bill. Senator Bernie Sanders and Senator Josh Hawley, after they wrote the bill, said, no, absolutely not. We need to add in a stimulus check. And they actually took away... $160 billion away from states and cities. Yeah. So even after they wrote the bill, they made them change the bill and took away $160 billion. They didn't add money to the bill or anything like that. They just shifted where the money was going and took it away from states and cities and added and moved it and put it in for a stimulus check. And they could do that with this bill. Even after they write the bill, I expect that there will be significant changes. So um, expect that. Honestly, just because we've seen it from the third stimulus check and the second stimulus check package, that probably, if I was a betting man, I'd say that there's a 75% chance or more that even after they write the bill, there will probably be significant changes because it's part of the negotiation process. It's not that they want to do it that way. It's just that even after they write the bill and the senators and the representatives see everything in writing and actually start going through the voting process, there's going to be some of them that say, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not what I want. And that's how the change happens. So it's not that they want to do it this way. It's just, it's just that at the very last moment when they realize, you know, these bills have hundreds of things in them, guys, hundreds of things. There's thousands of pages. And then sometimes when they're kind of realizing that, nah, we really need to have that stimulus check in there, <laughs> believe it or not, or um, when they realize that economic conditions are getting worse, which is actually what they're doing right now, um, 
And remember, President Biden also said that states can continue unemployment bonuses on their own as well. They can use their own stimulus money to continue unemployment bonuses as well. So remember that. Um, but yeah, I will keep you up to date on everything. Remember, I will have a video for you tonight as well, 8 p.m. New videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a lot of information coming out now as the House is coming back in. We're getting more details literally by the hour as they're going through the negotiation phase. Uh, the House is uh, literally releasing details and telling us what they already want to do. They could be voting tomorrow already on the voting process, so I'll keep you up to date on everything. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video is some interesting information that just came out about monthly checks or universal basic income and actually has a very big uh person behind universal basic income. I was actually pretty surprised about that as well. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks guys. And we'll see you in the next video.